Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 50 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you a little known feature of Lightroom called Match Total Exposures. Have you ever been out shooting and maybe you're doing landscapes and you're taking a bunch of shots and then when you look at them later, one might be a little overexposed, another one's a little underexposed, and you have a few that are exposed perfectly. And you wish there was a way you could just easily go across and equalize the exposure between all of them. Well, there is a feature in Lightroom that allows you to do it. Now, I was out shooting, I was messing around with the Sony camera that B&H Photo loaned me, and I was just taking shots into the sun. I kind of wanted to see how the lens performed shooting into the sun and how the camera performed with this, you know, a lot of, you know, high contrast type shooting. So I shot some shots and, and I was using spot metering. So at times maybe the spot I was metering on drifted a little. So I have this shot, which I guess is considered to be exposed properly. This one is a little bit underexposed and then that one's a little bit overexposed. Well, I want to equalize the exposures on those two, this one that's underexposed and that one that's overexposed, to this one, which I consider to be properly exposed. Well, to do it, ha uh, click on the one that you think is properly exposed first, then select the other images afterwards. So I'm going to select the other two by just holding the shift key down and clicking on the last image. So now all three are selected. Now, if you're in the library module, this is under the photo menu at the top. So you go to photo and you would go down to develop settings and you'll see that there's something down here at the very bottom, match total exposures. If by chance you're in the develop module, well, it's under settings. And if you go down, it's right there, match total exposures. And you can see it's little known because it's kind of buried in the menu system. So as soon as I click on match total exposures, you'll see that there's the original, there's the one that was underexposed, and there's the one that was overexposed. So you could see that we've matched the exposures to this first one. And if we look at the basic panel, this was the first one, so exposure is at zero. Here was the one that was underexposed, and you could see that Lightroom automatically set exposure up by one full stop. And here's the one that was overexposed, and you could see that Lightroom pulled exposure down by about two thirds of one stop. So that's how you could easily match the exposures on a bunch of images. And it doesn't matter if you have two images or 2,000 images, you'd be able to do it. This comes in handy too if you are a studio photographer and you're not using a flash meter. So you're kind of trying to zero in uh, to get proper exposure and you're moving your lights a lot and you're not you're going to have some images invariably that are going to be either over or underexposed. You could find one that is perfectly exposed and then match the exposure of uh, that proper exposure to all the others. Um, again, it comes in real handy with um, landscapes like I did here and stuff like that. So there's always an application for this functionality that is buried in the menu system of Lightroom. So that's it for episode 50. I hope that taught you something you didn't know. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.